What is going on, you guys? Welcome back to the Film Camera Club. My name is Daniel, and I have recently just started shooting film and fallen in love with it. Uh, I just got my first roll of film developed, and I got this double exposure back that you're seeing right here, and I'm super stoked to share with the process that I went through to actually create this image here. So going into it, it's pretty straightforward, a double exposure. And you just, this can be done even with a digital camera. You just go into Photoshop and overlayer things and blend them and stuff and it's good to go. But on a film camera, you have to go in there and set it to a double exposure. And on the EOS 500, you have these two buttons that you press and then you crank it over to two uh, exposures and it will hold the film in place for you so that it, you can expose twice. And what that means is that you're gonna have twice as much light because you're exposing it twice. And so what you have to do is you have to underexpose both the photos. Uh, when I took this photo, I only underexposed uh, by half a stop, I wanna say, for the uh, statue because I wanted to try and get some of the textures in the statue, but you know, I, I don't think it ended up happening. Uh, this was shot on color film, even though it does look like black and white, it was just a very gray day. And since those were really heavy shadows on that side, of the statue and the trees used, it really did make it look like it was a black and white image. And the film and settings that I used was the Fuji Color 200 ISO. And the settings that I probably used was probably somewhere in the several hundredths of a second because it was shooting straight into the clouds. So sent it over to the shop, got it developed and it comes back a day later and then having the ability to see that and be like, wow, that turned out a lot better than what I thought it would and being super stoked about that. Uh, a little bit less so stoked about some of the other images, but there's a learning curve uh, that occurs. So next I went and took this image and put it into Lightroom and erased all of the uh, outside area and kind of adjusted the, the settings a little bit, but not very much, mostly just erasing the outside and then just blending out the bottom so it has a smooth transition into white at the bottom instead of some weird jaggedy stuff where the statue uh, meets the, uh, like is sitting on this, you know, where the statue is. So after that, there was still some pure black that was left there in the image. And I go over into Photoshop and just paint right over all of that. And it takes maybe, I don't know, 10 minutes to do all of this. So yeah, super excited to continue creating these videos about film and film photography. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel because we're gonna be going over all sorts of things to help you shoot better with your film cameras in the future. Thank you so much for watching and take care.